All right. Let's start this. All right. So let me ask you a quick question, Sinza. All right. Yes, sir. So if we have sine theta, what is the inverse of sine theta? Inverse function of sine theta? Uh, I don't remember. Sine inverse x side? Yeah. yeah. Sine theta, sine inverse x, cos theta, cos inverse x. Yes, sir. Tan theta, tan inverse x, cot theta, cot inverse x, sec theta, sec inverse x, cosec theta, and cosec inverse x. Now, what does it mean to be an inverse function? Inverse function means, let me give an example here. If we have y equals to 2x plus 3. All right. Suppose I put x equals to 1, then I'll get y equals to 5. And if I put x equals to 2, I'll get y equals to 7 and so on. Right, Inza? Yes, sir. So what is inverse function? If I write this as x equals to y minus 3 upon 2. Now, if you see, if you put y equals to 5 here, then you will get x equals to 1. If you put y equals to 7, x equals to 2, hmm. right? So what we are doing, if these are the ordered pairs, 1 comma 5, 2 comma 7, if we put this ordered pair in a function f and what is the inverse function inverse function is represented by f inverse which takes the ordered pair 5 comma 1 right 5 is the input 1 is the output this yes, thing sir. is clear All yes right. sir and hello tom is that your name i think it's Rahul, yes, right uh, it's tom uh, you are joining this batch Yes, sir. Give me a minute just to confirm we had other students coming. All right. Just give me a moment. All right, Tom, just got the confirmation. All right, so we are starting this chapter, inverse trigonometric functions. All right? Yes. Do you know anything about this chapter? Inverse trigonometry is like the opposite of the original function. Absolutely right. So you like trigonometry or not? I mean, it's 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 a good concept. I the only a bit of like questions are a bit hard. I guess. All right, all right. So these are the inverse trigonometric functions corresponding to each function of trigonometry. Sine theta we have sine inverse, cos theta we have cos inverse, and for everyone we had a inverse function. What is inverse function? If we have a inverse function f, uh, sorry, a function f, and that takes order pair. 1 comma 5 what is ordered pair if 1 is the input 5 is the output then there can be a function f inverse and remember this 
this is not equals to one upon f. This is very very wrong. They put you in jail if you write this equal. All right, this is never equal. This is just a symbol to write inverse function. So there exists a function f inverse where if you put five, then the output is one. All right. Thing is clear. Yes. Sir. All right, Kinza, this is clear. Yes, sir. All right. Hello, Rahul. Hello. Yes, you are late today. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. All right, no worries. We just started this. We have started this chapter in which trigonometric functions. All right. And these are the corresponding inverse trigonometric functions for the trigonometric functions we have been studying in childhood, 11th and 10th, right? 9 theta, we have sine inverse x. Cos theta, we have cos inverse x. And 10 theta, and theta 10, inverse 10 inverse x, and so on, right? So what is the inverse okay. function? If we put one in a function and we get the output five, then inverse of that function is that takes five as the input and returns one as the output. Mm -hmm. Let me explain okay. this in a good example. All right, suppose this is a mixer juicer. Now, you know, mixer juicer, they put apples and fruits that puts a juice. Suppose Rahul invented a machine, all right, where if you put an apple, this first machine converts this apple juice, ap this to apple juice. And that is connected to another machine, all right, which Tom invented. So what this does is it takes the apple juice and converts that to apple. All right, we are not talking about the practicality of this, but suppose if there is a machine like that, then if this takes the apple and converts this into apple juice and machine two does what? Converts apple two into apple. Then one is the inverse of other, right? This thing is clear. Mm -hmm. So this yes, is sir. what function and inverse function are basically are this function takes one as the input and out uh, returns five as the output this function takes five as the input and returns one as the output so these are inverse of each other same thing is done with trigonometry sine theta takes angle right it's an angle and returns a value what sine inverse must be doing takes a value returns a angle this thing is clear yes sir all yes, of sir. you all right tom yes sir and this is same for each inverse trigonometric functions they take a value and return an angle because all trigonometric functions eat angles and return a value all right so can anyone tell me what is domain and range of a function does anyone know what is domain and range of a function Yes or no? All right, I guess no. Domain is what are the values you can put in the function? What is the input of the, uh, what can we say? You know what is the real function? Yes. Real function means, yeah, real function means that input real and output is real. We don't get any imaginary number on anything like that, infinite or anything like that. All right. So everything we read is a real function. And what is domain? Every value of x or theta or any value you can put in this function, which results in a real value. What this means, if I have a function y equals to 1 upon x, if I put x equals to 1, 
then what I get? One upon one, which is one. This is cold. But if I put x equals to zero here, then what will I get? One upon zero. And what is one upon zero? What zero. is one upon zero? Zero. All right. Not zero, Kinza. What is one upon zero, everyone? Defined. Not defined. Instance. Not not defined. Absolutely right. Infinite. So one upon zero, we cannot define. And this is not cool because we cannot put x equals to zero. Why? Nobody knows infinite. This is not real. Right? No matter how much big number you say, that will be not infinite if you can say it. Right? Nobody knows about infinite. So x equals to zero is not in the domain of one upon x. All right. So basically, what are the values of x you can put in this function, which gives us very pretty pretty values. Is that clear, domain? Yes, sir. everyone. All right. Yes. So what will be range? If you put all the domain values of x in this function, then all the values you get of y or the output, you put them all in a bag, that is called a range. All right. You put every value of x you have in the domain and every value of y will be in the range. All right. Range, very simple. What are the values you are getting as the output? What is the range of values? This thing is clear? Yes, sir. All right. So trigonometric functions, basic trigonometric functions, this you have been studied previously also. Domain of sine theta is, can anyone remember this? This is R. You can put any value, right? And remember this, we are all studying this radian. Do not use degrees for anything. Not that that is a crime, but it's better to use radians. All right. Domain of sine theta is R. Range is minus one to one. And this is close brackets. Close bracket means minus one and one are included. All right. Does everyone know about this brackets? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. So this is close bracket minus one to one sine theta. This is the range. What this means? Sine theta can attain minimum value of minus one, maximum value of one. Same thing about cos theta. Domain is R, range is minus one to one. Tan theta. R minus 2n plus 1 pi by 2. Why this? If you put 90 degree in this 1090, what is the value of 1090? Infinite. Infinite, absolute. Sine 90 upon cos 90, 1 upon 0, again infinite. So we cannot put any multiple of 90 in this. So that is the domain of tan theta and range is infinite or minus infinite to infinite. Open brackets. Same about cot theta, but in cot theta, we cannot put multiples of pi. All right. And the range is again minus infinite to infinite. You get all the values of the world. Sec theta, can anyone tell me the do sec theta? R minus n pi. All right. A range of this is minus infinite to minus one. Close brackets in this, open in this, union one to infinite, open here, close here. And cosec is R minus 20 plus one pi by two. Again, range is same. Please note this down.
done everyone yes sir yes sir all right so yes, how many are finding this difficult not even one all right so why did i tell you about this we are not studying this we are studying inverse because this is highly related why because i told you inverse function does what if this eats this function this value and returns this value then inverse will do what eat this value and return this value right yes or no everyone yes so domain of inverse function will be similar to what is written here range of this trigo functions so you can note it down inverse trigo functions domain and range sin inverse x cos inverse x tan inverse x cot inverse x sec inverse x and cosec inverse x so what is domain of sin inverse if you can read it out range of sin x will be equals to domain of sin inverse x this is clear why is that rahul tom pinza so good yes all right see i told you about this uh, juicer machine yes sir right if this eats apple and returns apple juice and this is the inverse of this function then this yes, will sir. eat apple juice and return apple yes sir and this is called domain right the input and the output yes. is range again this is domain and range suppose sin x sin x takes the domain as r and returns the range as minus 1 to 1 right can yes. yes sir so what will be the domain of this if this is the inverse minus 1 comma 1 to absolutely right minus 1 to 1 thank you am i clear now yes sir all right so this is the easy way to remember things don't try to write range now i'll explain range is a bit a little bit different all right just write down the domains what will be the cos inverse of domain same as sin inverse right minus 1 to 1 this is clear why this happened yes sir all right please write it down all all of that domain of all the functions what will be the domain of tan inverse x what will be the domain of tan inverse x minus infinity to absolute right minus infinite to infinite and cot inverse x minus infinity to absolutely right and sec inverse x you just have to read it out right domain of sorry range of sec x did you guys write the values or not the previous values pinza rahul tom you did not write those values yes sir written so what is the range of sec x minus infinity comma minus 1 and union right mm -hmm. that is called union mm -hmm. 
So minus infinite to minus one close bracket zero union one to infinite. Right. And what is the domain of cosec inverse x? Minus infinity comma one. Minus one. All right. Minus one. Uh, union one uh, close bracket one comma infinity. Absolutely correct. Right. This is clear to everyone. How we wrote these values? Rahul, Tom. Sir, one minute, sir. Let me just fix my Wi-Fi. All right. All right, Tom. Till then, you can copy this. Done. So, how to write the range of a function, range of these functions? We cannot like copy the range and domain of the previous function. Why so? Because if you guys remember this, you must have studied this in class 11 that sine is a pre periodic function, right? The graph looks like something like this. You must have seen this in physics also. Yes or no, everyone? Yes, sir. So in periodic functions, we cannot copy the range as exact. What they do, they try to restrict the domain to a short period, to a short length. All right. So just write it down. Why this happens, I can explain this in uh, when we are studying the relation and function chapter, when we are going to study one, one and onto function. All right. Range will be here minus pi by two to pi by two close and same with this minus pi by 2 to sorry 0 to pi close tan inverse x is same as sine inverse x minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 just open brackets cot is same as cos 0 to pi open brackets sec inverse is same as cos 0 to pi close brackets minus pi by 2 it cannot get the value of pi by 2 and this is same as sine inverse which is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 close brackets minus 0 write it down you have to memorize this but one hint to memorize is sine inverse tan inverse and cosec inverse they are almost identical and rest of three are identical all right. Why this range and the domain of that is different? Why this apple is a green apple and that apple is red apple? Then I can tell you when we are doing this relation and function chapter. All right. Is it okay, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. If you want, I can explain, but half of things will not be able to understand. So no point. But one thing is clear, you have to remember these values. Otherwise, like most of the questions you will not be able to solve. And if it is just this, then 90% of the questions you can solve. Right. Tell me when you are done writing this.
done sir all right so these are the domain and range of inverse trigonometric functions now few properties first one sin inverse sin x will be equal to x right what is it saying if you put sin x as the input of sin inverse x you will get the angle x as the output or range but x must belong to this value this range of sin inverse all right a domain of yes range of sin inverse x so what is range of sin inverse x read the table you just wrote minus 5 by 2 comma 5 by 2 minus 5 by 2 to 5 by 2 what this is saying only if x belongs to this value and this is minus 90 to 90 only if x is from this to this then you can write this property otherwise this is not valid so you have to look uh, carefully into the question if this value is from minus 90 to 90 or not cos inverse cos x is also equals to x but x must belong from What should I write here? Zero to five. Absolutely right. Zero to five. Tan inverse tan x as x if x belongs to What is the range of tan inverse x? Minus pi by two to pi by two. Pi by two. Absolutely. Open bracket. Cot inverse cot x. If x belongs to zero comma pi. Sorry. Sec inverse sec x will be x if x is from zero to pi close brackets minus pi by two. All right. I need you guys to be a bit fast in this. X belongs to what? You just have to read, right? You wrote, you copy down the table, right? Rahul, Tom. Mm, minus pi by, by two. Pi by two. Minus right. zero. So why were you not speaking before? You are here to listen only. You are here as the audience. Is it so, Tom? I thought someone else would answer. I just waited. You can answer, all right? Don't wait for anybody else. And please note down the properties. All right. Note it. Write it down. Tell me when you are done.
done so. All right. Nice property. Just the reverse of this. Sine of sine inverse x will be equals to x if x belongs to. See here we are putting the x into sine inverse first. So x must be from the domain of sine inverse. Right? So what is the domain of sine inverse x? Minus one comma one. Minus one. Okay. Again, two people are silent. Rahul, what is this domain of cos inverse x? It's minus one. One. Minus one two one. Right. This is read as minus one to one. All right. Tom, what is the domain of tan inverse x? Minus infinity to infinity. Right. Or we can write R or real numbers. Cot of cot inverse x. What is the domain of cot inverse x? Uh, R. R. Sec of sec inverse x. X must be belonging from domain of sec inverse x. Yes. Minus infinity, comma minus one, one and one, comma infinity. All right. All right. Or you can write this as r minus minus one to one, right? All the real numbers minus these values. All right. Cosec of cosec inverse x is equal to x, and x is from. R minus uh, open brackets minus one one. Absolutely right. So this is the second property. I hope this is clear. If it is, note it down. Tell me when you are done. Dancer. All right. Few questions. Sine inverse sine pi by three. Cos inverse cos two pi by three. Sine inverse sine two pi by three. All right. I need all the answers here. Tell me when you have solved this. Yes, sir. 
just using two properties we have to solve this let me solve the first one which property can we apply here in the first question does anyone have any idea rahul tom pinza sin inverse bracket sin x is equal to x right so what is the answer here pi by 3 because the value of x is pi by 3 right so sin inverse sin of x is x sin inverse sin pi by 3 is pi by 3 but we have to check something first is pi by 3 an angle between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 What is the value of pi by three in degrees? Sixty. Sixty. So does sixty lie between minus ninety to ninety? Yes. So we can directly write sine inverse sine pi by three is equal to pi by three. I hope this is clear. Both of you, all three of you. Yes, sir. No. all right so please solve this second and third question also and i need the answer on chat all right
anyone solve this Rahul, Tom, Kinza. One minute, sir. All right. All right, I received Tom's answer. All right, see how we can solve this. Rahul, have you just? Pinza, what about you? Uh, almost done. Almost done. All right. So, what is the answer of second question? Two pi by three. Two pi by three. And third question. Third one, I'm not sure. This pi by six. All right. Pi by six. Third question, pi by six. Let's see. And fourth one. What is the answer of fourth one? In pi by six. Five by six and fifth one. This is also pi by three. At this, we can write cos inverse, cos inverse cos pi by six. So this is pi by six. How we can solve the third one? What is the first thing we need to check? We need to check if this angle lies between minus pi by two to pi by two. And what is the value of two pi by three? In degrees. What is the value of two pi by three in degrees? 120. 120. So does 120 lie between minus pi by two to pi by two? No. No. So what we can do, we can write this sine inverse sine, how to convert this two pi by three into something that lies between this value. You always have to remember, always break this 
into the nearest possible value of 3. So we can write this as 3 pi minus pi upon 3. This step is clear why we are doing this and how we are doing this. Pinza, Rahul? Yes, sir. All right. Now we can break this down as sine inverse sine. 3 pi upon 3 is pi minus pi by 3. Any doubts? No, sir. All right. So what is sine pi minus theta? Does anyone sine remember theta. this value? Sine theta, absolutely right. Tinza Rahul, you remember this? Yes, sir. Sure, right? Otherwise, I will tell you how to solve this. Knowing this is very important. What is sine pi minus theta? What is sine 2 pi minus theta? Sine pi by 2 minus theta? All of this you have to know. Sine pi plus theta. Do you know how to solve this type of thing? Yes or no? Everyone, Kinza, Rahul, Tom? Yes, sir. Yes. All right, Kinza? Yes, sir. So let's solve this. This is sine inverse sine. I can write this as pi by 3. Now we can check pi by 3 lies between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So the answer will be pi by 3. I hope this is clear to everyone. Yes, sir. All right. Next question. Sine of sine inverse pi upon 13. What is the answer of this question? Sine of sine inverse pi upon 13. Which property can we apply this in this question? Which property can we apply in this question? Sine of sine inverse five upon 13. Sine of sine inverse is equals to x. Right, so what will be the answer here? Pi by 13. Absolutely right. Now, which property can we apply here? Sine of cos inverse 4 by 5. Tom, Rahul. See, in this question, there is something we need to do. We have no property of sine of cos inverse something, right? We have sine of sine inverse something or cos of cos inverse something, right? So what we can do, let's assume cos inverse four upon five is equal to theta, right? Because cos inverse will return a angle. So we assume cos inverse four upon five is theta. So we can write four upon five is cos theta. Yes or no, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, next step would be to draw a right angle triangle with theta as one of this angle. A, B, C. In this triangle, if I write cos theta, what will be cos theta here in this angle? I need in the form of perpendicular base and hypotenuse. What is cos theta?
Yes. Yes. So we can write here this side upon AC, and that is equal to four by five. So can I write this as four and this as five? Yes or no? Four yes, side is ad yes. adjacent side upon hypotenuse, so four upon five. Now using Pythagoras, we can find out that this side is also three. Yes or no? Five square minus four square under root, and that will turn out to be three. All right. So in this triangle, we can write sine theta as three by five, perpendicular upon hypotenuse. This is clear. Yes, sir. Now we can write theta is equal to sine inverse three by five. From this equation, if this sine goes to this side, this becomes sine inverse. So sine inverse three by five becomes theta. And theta is cos inverse four by five, which is equal to sine inverse three by five. We can write this. This is clear or not? Yes, sir. yes sir. So instead of this, I can replace the value. So sine of cos inverse four by five. I can write sine inverse three by five, and the answer becomes. What is the answer here? Three by five. Three by five. I hope this thing is clear, and this method is very important in inverse trigonometric function. Taking that as theta and drawing a right angle triangle. Whenever you feel confused, you can use this method and solve questions. Please note it down. This question and the solution. Done, everyone. Yes, sir. All right. Next property. If you have sine inverse minus x, right, minus of some value, then this will. Oh, uh, sir, is it okay if I leave at six fifteen? Uh, sorry. Is it okay if I leave at six fifteen? Uh, why so? Because I got uh, physics tuition at uh, six thirty, so I had to be there at six thirty. The class is for one point five hour round. So if you miss half an hour every day, then this will be an issue for you, right? Yes, sir. Today, if you want, or just wait for five minutes, I can like tell you about the property. Then you no, can leave. No, no, no. It's uh, what do you say? It's right now six o'clock here, so I can be here for like fifteen minutes. Then I have yes, to. Yes, yes. Right, right. In half an hour, the class is over. All right. Oh, okay. No issue. All right. So sine inverse minus x is minus of sine inverse x. What this means? If you ever face sine inverse minus half, you can just take this negative. All right. This thing is clear. Yes and no, everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Just give me a minute. All right. And cos inverse. 
first side tan inverse minus x is same minus of tan inverse x and cosec inverse minus x is also minus of cosec inverse x now cos inverse minus x in cos what happens you can write this as pi minus cos inverse x all right if you face cos inverse minus half you can write pi minus cos inverse half all right so sin inverse tan inverse and cosec inverse you can directly put the negative side outside but for cos you have to write pi minus that and same for cot pi minus cot inverse x and sec pi minus sec inverse this is clear everyone so these three are similar these three are similar is it clear everyone yes sir all right so write it down then we'll solve few more questions if you guys have noted this down then please try to solve this questions these three questions all right i need the answer in the chat
All right, everyone saw this? Yes, sir. All three questions, Kinza? Yes, sir. All right. Rahul, Tom? Yes, sir. Last question, one minute. Last question, all right. Yes, you're done. All right. What is the first answer? Rahul? I got uh, 6 pi by 6. 6 pi by 6. That means pi. Right. 6 pi by 6 is pi. Tom, is that your answer? I got 5 pi by 6. 5 pi by 6. All right. So cos inverse cos, how we can convert this, Rahul? Uh, minus, minus pi by uh, pi, some by pi. Uh, minus pi. Don't try to write as minus pi. That will be some issue for you. I told you, write this as simple as you can. Either 6 pi plus pi or 12 pi. Then you have to look what you have to do right so i can write 12 pi minus 5 pi is 7 pi right 12 pi minus 5 pi is 7 pi upon 6 cos inverse cos now this is 2 pi minus 5 pi by 6 now cos of 2 pi minus theta what is cos of 2 pi minus theta Rahul? 2 pi minus theta. Yes, cos of 2 pi minus theta. 0? No, that is cos theta. All right, cos of 2 pi minus theta is cos theta. So we can write cos inverse cos of 5 pi by 6. And now we can check 5 pi by 6 is in degrees. What is the answer here? Does this lie between 0 to pi? Mm -hmm. Yes or no, everyone? Yes. Yes. So we can write the answer directly 5 pi by 6. All right. Or you could have done mm -hmm. what? You could have written this as cos inverse cos 6 pi plus pi by 6. And this is cos inverse cos. 5 plus pi by 6. Now you have to know what is cos pi plus theta. So what is cos pi plus theta? Minus cos. Minus cos theta. So you have to write this as cos inverse cos minus cos pi by 6. Now you have to apply the formula for negative angle. That is pi minus cos inverse cos pi by 6 and now we can write pi minus pi by 6 which is pi pi by 6 you get the same answer but again you have to know this thing these formulas are very important all right rahul this is clear mm -hmm. yes sir all right kinza yes sir all right next question is very easy sine inverse minus 1 upon root 2 just take the negative out. So negative of sine inverse 1 upon root 2. And this is minus sine inverse sine pi by 4. Right? Yes, sir. yes or no, everyone? So this is minus pi by 4. You all have this answer? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, what is sir. the next question? Tan inverse minus root 3. How to solve that, Rahul? Pi by 3. I mean, the answer is pi by 3. Answer is pi by 3. Everyone agrees with that? Yes, sir. All right. How we are getting pi by 3? No, minus. 
minus pi by 3. So this is minus tan inverse root 3. And this is minus tan inverse 10 pi by 3. And this is minus pi by 3. I hope these questions are clear to you, all of you. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So one last property for today's class. Very small property we have. Property 4. Sine inverse 1 upon x is equals to cosec x. Cos inverse 1 upon x is equals to sec inverse x. Tan inverse 1 upon x is cot inverse x. All right. Why so? Because we know sin x is 1 upon cosec x and so on. They are related like this. If you change the or reverse the uh, angle, then this angle, this function also changes. All right. Write it down. This is very easy to remember, right? Sine is opposite of cos. So sine inverse, cos inverse are together and so on. All right. Note it down. This property is clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, write it down. Last question for today's class. Sine of five by three minus sine inverse minus half. All right, try to solve this. Tell me if you have solved this question. Send the answer in the chat. All right, all of you solve this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, what is the answer here? Pinza? Sine pi by two. That is one. Sine pi by two. One. Absolutely right. So how we can solve this? This is sine pi by three. This negative comes outside, so this becomes plus sine inverse half. 
to sine pi by 3 plus sine inverse half. I can write pi by 6. Pi by 3 plus pi by 6 is pi by 2. So sine pi by 2 is 1. Everyone is clear about this? Yes, sir. All right. So everyone clear about whatever we studied in this class? Or any doubts remaining? No, sir. No. All right. You will be getting assignments also after each class. All right. So please complete that in time. Is it clear, Tom, Pinza, Rahul? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. All right, then. This is all for today's class. See you in the next class, guys. Take care.